Welcome back, my friends. Today, or this, this episode, this recording, however you want to say it, uh, we're at the falls in Mobile, Alabama at Magnolia Grove, Robert Trent Jones uh, Complex. Came out in the middle of the week. Uh, nobody was out there. I think we run through one group uh, on the back, or close to the back. And uh, anyway, so this is the falls. As you can see, there's not a flat lie at, at this golf course. The falls um, is typically not played as much as the crossings because of the slope, because of the undulations, because the course is just difficult. Um, so it's a par 71. It used to be a par 72. Uh, hole number seven was converted from a pretty short par five to a par four a couple of years back. So things have changed up just a little bit. So it's par 71. Because uh, it had been raining, I went ahead and played from the white tee box. Uh, typically, that's a pretty strong game anyway. The orange tee can, can be difficult. Um, anywho, so this was from the white today. Um, playing 61-19, I think is what the scorecard shows. So this is hole one. What you're going to see throughout today is the greens are just rolling uh, incredibly well. I was very impressed with the greens. Uh, the, th the greens at most Magnolia Grove or Robert Trent Jones complexes are big. Um, these had obviously been punched a month or so ago, a couple weeks ago, a couple weeks back. I had been told the day before that they had rolled these greens. So they were running really smooth and really fast. So I, I had that in mind trying to make these, uh, make these putts today. Um, so this, this par, uh, once again, a little par save to get started, uh, felt good. So here we go. So that was a par on the first hole. Uh, again, if you've never played at Magnolia Grove here in Mobile at the falls, there is just, um, an incredible view on just about every hole. Um, Robert Trent Jones uses the slope. He uses uh, undulation on the green to make a make a two foot undulation on the green from the tee box look like it's twelve feet. So uh, this is par uh, par three, hole number two. Um, still, I'm not one that gets out of the golf cart, goes to the driving range, warms up. I get out of the golf cart and go straight to the golf course, try to get to the first hole as quickly as possible, and try to loosen up as I play. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. Oh, so real quick on this pitch shot, I was trying to land that probably another a yard short so that it would bounce off that slope and kick it to the right toward the hole. So I actually chipped that ball further than I wanted to. I wanted to make that comment. Um, so I, again, because the slopes on these greens, you can use them to your advantage. I was trying to do that here. And as you can see, missed because it should have been a lot closer to the pin. So this putt, um, very disappointed there. I uh, missed that par and have a kick in here for, for bogey. So through the second hole, uh, bogey. Hole number three, uh, beautiful hole here, dog leg right. Uh, the idea is to hit it over to the left. And if you can catch the slope, if you can stay in the fairway, and kick basically where my ball probably landed uh, hit soft there and got caught up in the rough if that lands in the fairway over to the right then it runs down that slope so still not a bad deal um, tried to throw this I thought I'd left that off the green but it did cut back um, so caught uh, the, the edge of the screen here uh, and and the, the thing about this golf course, you got to pay attention to the topography. The green may look like it's going to break one way, um, but the topography of the, of the landscape may, may push it a different direction. Um, kind of disappointed in this putt. I uh, thought I read it well and just didn't hit it. So this is one of, one of the putts that uh, it's got a lot of meat on the bone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I was a little nervous about this one, um, but tried to maintain the putting stroke. So got a par out of number three. Headed to number four. Four is, uh, you can't see the green. It's a straightaway par four. Uh, pretty simple. It's very short. Uh, but the trouble can be if you fade it like I do or cut it, uh, that trap on the top of the hill on the right uh, can come into play. So I think you can see the 150 marker right there. 
uh, top of the hill. So you kind of aim for it and, and no reason to kill it because there's traps in front of the green. So you just kind of bust something out there. Pretty simple. So the 100 yard marker is kind of right in front of me, I think. Pins on that back right portion. Um, and truly just aiming for the green on this shot. Uh, it is <laughs> it is important to get the ball on the proper portion of these greens. Uh, these greens have a tendency to, again, have some undulation on them that can throw your ball nowhere where you really want it to go. Uh, my photographer today was my wife, Cheryl, and uh, it was pleasant outside. It was about 85, but, you know, just trying to keep her relaxed. So, videoed from the cart here, and what you couldn't see is that was dead on line, and it was probably three, four inches short. Um, so, number four there, I'm calling that a, a birdie, an almost birdie. Uh, I wish I could have got that one in the cup so hole five par five 506 yards this is a three shot hole for me has always been a three shot hole for me never been able to try to reach the green here in two uh know plenty of guys that can uh that hit it you know 280 300 so the idea here for me is to to miss the big slope on the right miss the trap on the left so i kind of go right there in the valley and today i was able to do that again so we kind of fast forward through the, the layup here. Um, but again, just looking at the at the golf course, the whole beautiful place. Uh, the weather was great. Like I said, it was about 85. The humidity wasn't bad. Leave the audio here so you can hear the wind. Don't know if you, could, uh, if you heard that, but the idea here is you can see the undulation behind the hole. You can see the pin with the green you know, slope behind it. So. What I was saying was I was trying to I'm trying to hit the ball past the hole and let it come back to the hole. So I'd take an extra stick and uh, this was a miss hit. I will go ahead and admit that. Uh, so I didn't hit it good, but thank goodness I'd taken the extra stick and it ended up right beside the hole, pin high. So trying to learn uh, to set the camera up to where you guys can see the golf course with maybe a little bit better. So if again, if you've never played the falls, um, great place to be, great place for some good golf, and the scenery is pretty. If you have a bad day playing golf, you can at least relax looking around. So here's a birdie attempt on the par five uh, after that miss hit, and uh, rolled it in there, baby. So that putt, I had to leave it uh, out to the right about a ball, and again, those are those are scary putts. Putting that ball out there like that so anywho so coming up on the uh again we're playing the white today uh this hole play is playing a little short um i think it was yeah 143 141 somewhere in there pins in a good spot though uh not in a tuck not tucked anywhere difficult and i pull it so i pulled it left and have about 30 i guess 30 feet maybe for a birdie and uh Again, the greens are rolling fantastically. Um, the falls, to me, I, I can probably say, I can't remember the last time it was in such good shape. Now, having said that, I don't play out there every week. So, anywho, golf course in good shape. Uh, the photographer is filming from the golf cart again. So we had to zoom in a little bit. Um, this putt, I was really disappointed in this putt. Um, I thought I'd read it correctly, but just as you can see, put a lot of extra heat on that. And this putt uh, scared me. So this was a par putt from about six feet. And uh, when that went in, big sigh of relief. <laughs> so this is number seven. This is the one that converted from a par five to a par four. Uh, the tee boxes, I think, were pushed back a little bit. Um, but again, it, it was still a short par five, and, and the guys that could hit it pretty pretty strong were birdieing this thing consistently. Um, even us short knockers were having some success on this hole. So, T-ball, not great. I think I had 165, but the, um, yeah, that was to the hole. So, I'm at the 175 marker, but the pin was on the front. So, take a big divot there, catch the fringe, 
and um, this was a huge left to right breaker uh, but thankful that the pin was on the front get a good roll and drop in birdie number two birdie baby so uh, 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 acting like it's a par five again so number seven is a good hole um, eight is my nemesis hole I'll just say that out loud so the, the lake or creek you see there, the falls that the course is named after is off to the right. I think we get a picture of it here in a minute. Um, eight is a is a beautiful golf hole. It really is, but it's brutal. It's all uphill. Um, there's a slope right in front of the 150 marker. Uh, you're going to see that here in just a second. And what you can't see, this is kind of like Augusta. It looks flat, but I'm actually standing on a, on a pretty steep slope. So my left foot is above, way above my right. And you're going to see me kind of fall back because um, I was off balance. So took an extra stick, lay this out there. I think it catches the fringe on the front of the green. I'm all excited until I get up there and realize there is nowhere to put this ball. This pin position, um, yeah, not my favorite pin position. So I don't know if you can tell, but it, it, there on, when I was coming down, there, it's all, right at the bottom of that slope. Uh, if you go past the pin, probably five or six feet coming back down, which is where I'm headed, it could catch the slope and go all the way back down to the front of the green. So I was I was running a little hot after that chip shot because I knew I had to get it close. And then I absolutely, you know, brain farted there on that putt and still running hot and just slapped at that. I'm really, actually really glad that was in. <laughs> oh. I was so mad about number eight. Eight always gets me. I, I don't think I've ever parred eight. Nine is probably one of my favorite holes uh, from the fairway. Um, I mean, look at this. It's just gorgeous. So I'm on another hump. So there's basically a drop off at the edge there. Thank goodness the pin was on the front. Uh, I just played through a foursome there. The three, three of them. They're off to the left over there. And then what happens on nine, um, again, is just scratching my head I really thought this putt was going to go toward the to, to the right uh, toward the water but even looking at it on camera here you can see that the green breaks <laughs> back to the sand track uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll remember next time um, so I go out go out in 35 remember it's par 71 so the front only had one par 5 the back's got two far, par 5s uh, number 10 and number 18 now what you try to do here is if you can cut the left corner here over this kind of dead well you can't really see it there's a kind of a dead oak tree to the left of that trap and if you can go right over the edge of that tree you get a lot of distance um, the assistant pro Matthew Williams plays here play with him one time he flew that tree and he had like 160 maybe into the pen oh it was so sad he he did two putt for his birdie <laughs> So I laid up, there's the falls. So there's there's what the course is named after the falls. Kind of cool. Um, so I laid up. I had about 183 to carry the creek there and just kind of chickened out and decided to lay up and then, you know, punch it up again. So a uh, photographer does a good job here. Cheryl does a good job here kind of showing you guys, you know, just the scenery. Again, beautiful place. Uh, if you're Even if you're having a bad day, you can just take a couple of breaths, look around. Um, but that's 11, 10th green, and then 8th fairway off to the left. This putt, uh, all my fault. I guess they all are. But, uh, again, too far away from the pin. Wrong wrong side of the green, even. Had to go up to the left and bring it back to the right. Maybe if I'd have hit a little bit harder, but I just didn't want it getting away from me. So, here we go. We'll get a nice par through 10 and head toward 11. 11, kind of... Peninsula green, all water on, on the left, short. So you, anyway, you just pick a point to aim and, and fire away. So um, this green is big. It is a big green. It is tough to miss, but I missed it. Uh, not really. I mean, I'm right there on the edge. So uh, 11, par 3, uh, lake behind you. Again, great scenery, great, great options here. And roll it up and almost make it. So about a foot short. Still proud of that putt. 
again you can't beat the scenery um headed to number number 12 at even par uh feeling feeling pretty good disappointed at some of the putts that didn't go in but you know hey it, i'll get over it <laughs> so the t-ball on 12 um didn't hit it well uh there's no other way to say it uh, this dog leg left you've got to hit a good t-ball and i left it kind of woefully short um a good tee ball would be about where our carts parked here um, to where you got a good angle uh, at the green you can actually see the green I couldn't see the green from where I was hitting from I could see the top of the flag um, and check out this green y'all this green is absolutely brutal and then the pin position somebody ticked off the greenskeeper right uh, I don't know if you guys can tell but it's on the it's on the pre prefaces of that cliff um, and it was probably a three or four foot from where I'm at to the pin, maybe even, yeah, probably three or four feet. Tried not to catch that slope because if it's, if I do, it slings it back probably right back where I'm at. Um, still not real excited about where I left this, but um, I think this is probably five, five feet left. And I've got to swing it out here um, outside the cup. Maybe a ball, maybe two balls. Um, about a ball it looks like. Yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah, <laughs> quite relieved to see that ball go in the hole uh, to, to save that par. Uh, again, just didn't hit a good drive there and then didn't get the ball. I think if even if the ball gets to that hole, it still spins back because of that slope. So again, portion, green portion uh, is, is truly important on a lot of the holes here. Um, easiest par three. Um, Probably at the whole complex, number 13, down, down, a little downhill, flat green, and um, bulkhead back there. The uh, railroad ties make this hole look, look pretty cool. So this putt, um, I think this one was straight. Uh, as you can see, though, there's some uphill to it. And rolling it right to the edge. <laughs> oh. I could have cried. So hole 13, another half roll that goes in. It was a little uphill. Um, so still stuck, still stuck at even. Um, coming into 14, I think this is 14. So what I just showed you there is I switched from a Chrome Soft to a Vice Pro. Just trying to, just trying to see, um, again, the distance on that last hole. I'm blaming it on the golf ball, but <laughs> obviously wasn't. Um, but I'd found this uh, Vice Pro somewhere, maybe here in Lakes, and uh, had it had it in the bag or on the bag. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. But um, another blind tee shot. You can't see the green. Uh, but I did ride up because, again, there's a twosome in front of us. Uh, I did ride up make sure they were clear. And when I did ride up, I noticed the pin was on the far left. So I was actually trying to throw this further out to the right to have a good angle. Uh, again, woefully short. I uh, had way too much yardage here for this hole. I uh, told Cheryl I was going to aim for the middle of the green. And I pulled it. <laughs> so I pulled the shot. Um, and look where it is though. <laughs> so I'd rather be lucky than good any day, right? Um, so this, this opportunity here, I was like, okay, I've got to concentrate on this. Because, you know, you miss, you pull um, a good 15 yards offline. And this was another straight up the gut, straight up the hill putt. And I hate straight putts. Uh, I, I, I need a little room for error. And this one had none. So take a couple of, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm choking there or what. But anyway, I do get it to roll in. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I pulled that putt. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, finally get back to under par. Uh, through 14, so super excited. Um, this hole, again, another blind tee shot. Uh, dog leg left. Green's uh, actually up. So you go down and then back up. Anything over this trap is busted over that trap. And uh, But again, just didn't catch it clean. Not happy about the driver right now. Um, it's not, something ain't going, something ain't working with the driver. Get out here in the fairway. Well, the green looks up when you're there. It doesn't look up on this video. So, pins right in the middle. Uh, if you go past, 
it, I think there was a bank behind it. So I was actually trying to go right of the pin here. And then I don't know if you guys saw where that ball just went, but it went straight left. So I was the third or fourth shot I pulled. So I'm like, what? So I do take a, take a practice ball here to try to find out why I'm pulling everything. So you'll see in a second, I, I scoop this ball up. I don't, I don't play this ball. I, I continue on with the first uh, playable, but I figure it out. So whatever was happening while I was pulling it, that shot, it went right over the pin. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it's golf. How do you figure golf out? So change the, uh, change this. Again, trying to learn how to show you guys the golf course. But uh, I do pick up that ball. That's the ball that went right over the pin. Um, didn't pull it and uh, pick it up here at some point eventually. So again, ball off to the right over here, a good 15 yards off line. And this is another one of those chip shots where I'm trying to use the slope to my advantage. Uh, tons of options here to, 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 you know, to pick from and throw it up get it out there to the slope and yeah it worked out. that one worked out so very proud of that shot um don't even pick up the putter here uh, it's a little tap in but um watch how nervous i get as this barely catches the <laughs> oops anyway it goes in right hey if it's in it's in uh 16 is kind of i don't know how to describe 16 it's scary so if you go straight or right there's there's a um, ravine down there to the right. Uh, if you go left, you get you get hit you get the trees. Um, so went back to the chrome soft here. Didn't care about distance on this hole. It's very short, like three forty nine something like that. So hit the standard cut, the kip cut, and uh, get down here, and it is like soggy, um, super wet, uh, squishy water coming up. So I move it. I, couple of yards off to the right um, to get out of that absolute mud and muck and it, it I would consider that casual water because the my big frame when I was stepping around that it would squish up so take relief from that um, I like this hole too uh, there's water to the left uh, bunkers to the left bunk, short right bunker and you cannot go long here so Pretty proud of this shot. Um, this one goes just left of the pin, and I, I thought it checked up, uh, and it may have, but uh, it does go past the hole. So again, setting up so you can see back back up toward the fairway there. I'm trying everything here, because I'm guessing it goes to the left, but I, I wasn't quite sure. Topography comes off from the left, so you know, thinking maybe it pushes it left to right, but went with my gut here and what I was seeing, which was about a ball or two out to the right. And um, again, they're fast. So put a little, put a little roll on it and look at that. <laughs> oh, about six inches outside the cup, it actually broke left. So yeah, you can see that smile. So two under through 16, come to 17. Get the vice back out because I, I want to try to get a little yardage out of this. And I am aiming at that first trap on the left and trying to hit my standard kip cut and put a little extra on it, put a little mustard on it, and it doesn't cut. I mean, right away, you can, well, I could see that it straight as a string. It was low, screamer, um, didn't cut at all, and um, flew right into the trap. Oh, I'm getting a new glove, by the way. That, that, I'm just using this glove till it actually wears a hole. And then I'll switch it. I already have the new glove. But using it as long as possible. So, uh, best decision I made all day. I switch clubs. I go with more club. Uphill. Because uh, anything short is a deep bunker. And I, I started thinking, hey, if I go long here, that's not bad. Plenty of room long. I don't know if you can pick up the ball here, but when I see it bounce, I knew it was on the green. So, yeah, pretty excited about that shot. Glad I switched clubs. Glad I went with more club. Again, greens are big, but the, what you can't see, maybe, unless you know, anyway, there's a trap 
just on the side of the green there a front it protects the front and it's just brutal brutal trap so plenty of room past the green left over there to our right on the screen anyway if you got to miss it go long so that's why i went with the extra club there uh did not want to be short and and look you know you guys figured it out if i'd have gone with that uh, first club uh, i would have been short so the longer club got me to the green now this one uh this one's crazy y'all so from this setup camera setup it this looks like the ball should go to our right um but standing over it it was like oh, it's got to go back towards the cup so i think that was topography putt big big hill off behind us there brings that ball back to the to the hole um enough about that <laughs> hole 18 Par 5, 5 uh, lots of traps in the middle of the fairway here. Uh, you just want to get it over those big clumps of grass. And I did, and I felt good. Uh, feeling real good, actually. Thinking I might get there. Into, and look at this. So my best guess is it, may, it must have taken a left bounce, and then a second bounce must have caught the, um, the bank there of that. Anyway, whatever. It's in the trap. So just trying to get this out down the fairway, um, successful here. I think that was a five iron, trying to get it inside the 150, and it, it I hit it good, hit it clean. So I'm about 101 to the pin here. I have a Mac Daddy Cleveland, I'm sorry, Callaway, that I don't like. Uh, I, I'm not going to be... Sometimes this club's good. Most of the time it goes left. And look at this. I actually work a cut with it somehow, some way. And um, so, yeah, now it's my favorite club. So headed into 18, got a birdie putt. There's a clubhouse back there. Uh, if you haven't been here in Mobile, the Falls Golf Course, not many people play it. But I hope you've enjoyed watching this and seeing, seeing this golf course. Um, it's actually a fantastic golf course. It's difficult. I'm not going to lie. Um, a lot of blind tee shots, but here's the last putt of the day. Got to leave it outside the cup, and booyah! Oh, I was so happy that went in. So, don't know how this happened, uh, honestly. Uh, a couple of rounds before this were like an 88 and a 78. I've not been playing well at all. And uh, and golf has a way of somehow popping back up and having, having fun. So, there it is, 68 on the falls on the third.